Hello. In this session, we will look at how you can create your inline policies and then how we can attach those inline policies to your identities. Like for example, let's say your user accounts. Now, once again, when we talk about your policies, policies are nothing but your permissions. And when we talk about your permissions, they are divided into two types. We have the managed policies and then we have the inline policies. Now, in the last session, we discussed about how you can create your customer managed policies, which is one of the type under your managed policies. Now, the main difference between your uh, managed policy and your inline policies is that your managed policies can be attached to multiple users, multiple groups and multiple roles. Also, your managed policies are not dependent on any of the identity. So even if you delete the user or the group or the role, it does not have any effect on the managed policies. Whereas your inline policies, these are directly attached to the single user or to the single group or to the single role. And if you delete that user or the group or the role, the inline policy also gets deleted. So your inline policy, it strictly follows your one to one relationship and it can be attached to only one identity at a time. Once again, before we start off with this session, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So let's get started with this. Now, like I said, your inline policies can be attached when you are creating the resources or after creating the resources. So let's say, for example, here I'm going to create a new user. So let's call this as uh, user three and uh, we'll give console access to this user. And uh, next here again, you have the option of adding this to a user group or you can attach the policies directly. All right. And here you can create a policy. So ideally you'll need to have your inline policies first. Okay. So we'll first create an inline policy. So let me cancel this. And to create your uh, inline policies, you will have to do it at the user level or at the group level or at the role level. Now this policies that you see here, this is specifically for your managed policies. We cannot create inline policies from here. This is only for your managed policies. Let's go to a user account. So, you know, let's go to user one and here under add permissions, we should be able to see create inline policy. Now, what this means is we are creating a policy which is specific to this user only. It will not be applicable to any other users. We won't be able to add this permission to any other user. So let's try and do that. So we'll click on create inline policy and everything remains the same. All right. So here we will be specifying the service for which service you want to give the access. So let's say I want to give access to the EC2 service and again under EC2 what actions you want to allow. So let's say I want to allow list access and uh, read access and your resources. So we will go with all resources and then review the policy and let's give it a name. So let's call this as custom inline policy and we'll create this policy. Now this policy, uh, okay, this could be the permissions. So there, there, there could be a limitation on the maximum policy size. So let me try removing the read permissions so let's just go with the list permissions and try this uh, let's try creating this okay so i think there's a limitation on this i'll give full read access review policy create the policy um, okay all right so there's my policy created all right so this is loading now here you can see this is again a customer managed however this is an inline policy so you can see the type it says inline policy and this can be attached to only this year so it, it, it has a strict one-to-one -one relationship this app this can be applicable only to this service all right uh again this defines a permission but then it is restricted only to this user i cannot use this policy for other user so if you want to define the permission for your other users again we will have to create an inline policy specific to this user we can also create an inline policy at the group level 
all right but again it is for only one group i won't be able to make use of the same inline policy for multiple groups so under permissions we should be able to see this create inline policy which is again same you are defining the permissions however uh, the thing to remember is it is restricted to one group only so that's your inline policy so inline policies can be attached to only one user or to only one group or to only one role we cannot attach it to multiple identities identities at the same time and the other important feature to remember um, about your inline policy is that uh, if you delete that identity so let's say for example as of now i have the inline policy attached for my user one so if i delete my user one identity my inline policy also gets deleted so delete this user and my inline policy will also be deleted so it is directly embedded with that identity and as long as your identity is available the inline policies will also be available and if you delete the identity the inline policy also gets deleted so that's how you can create your uh, im inline policies and you can attach it to your specific uh, identities like your user or your role or your iam group that's all for this session thank you once again before you leave please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and if you like the video leave a like and please share the video